Hello everyone, Neff here. And I bet you thought I was dead, didn't you? No, 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 I'm still alive. Barely. <laughs> so yeah, haven't worked on this in a while. The reason there hasn't been many videos in a while is that I took a bit of a break from developing. Because when you work on a long project like this, oftentimes you can get very burnt out. Just working on the same thing for a long, long time. And so, fair enough, took a bit of a break, and now I'm back to it. And I'm refreshed, rejuvenated, and ready to do the things I forgot to do. <laughs> so yeah. Um, so the big thing I've got in now is worlds are now saving and loading. That's like a big deal, yeah. That was, I put that kind of on the long finger for a while, but now that's done. So they load and save as you're running around, and of course you have different save games and stuff. So just an example, um, I can go to a new game. This is a bit bare right now because it's just like for a new game. But I could type in a world name there. Could call it whatever. <laughs> just call it what. Or I can go and load a game, and here's all of our saved games. So the idea of these is that these are profiles, you know? It's not just that these are one world, these are just like one saved game. So you could have different worlds in that saved game. And so I've just named them like Bob, Jane, Jeff. And you see I have a little pagination here, so we see show three of them per page. And then Steve. Because <laughs> why not? So they're all in there. And of course these are just blank ones. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go to load game and I'm going to load up Bob. Because why not? Now, and here we go. So you can see it loaded pretty fast, and we're right into it. And of course, this world was already, you know, we've made this before and come in. Now, of course, it still generates as we're going around. But where am I going? <laughs> Let's land here. So yeah. So I mean, now the fact that the chunks actually save, it means that you do get a big performance boon from that, which is nice. And I'm only saving the chunks I absolutely need to save, which is really nice. So performance-wise, it helps. I mean, obviously right now it doesn't help that I'm running, you know, my recorder, so it tanks the frame rate anyway. But, you know. I mean, I get, like, decent 30 to 60 most of the time, which is nice. And, yeah. This is on the third render distance. There are four of them. And the fourth one is kind of unnecessary, to be honest. I, I tend to prefer the third one, because it just it performs better overall. I mean, the fourth is fine on my machine, but I imagine on a lot of machines it wouldn't be. So, yeah. Like, my machine is decent. I have it for a couple of years now, so it's nothing amazing. But, um, you know, I'd like to, it to run on a lot of hardware. I mean, this is, game is not going to run on your laptop. That's just how it is. That's the case. Do not expect it to run on your netbook. Um, but, yeah, I mean, on a laptop, you'd probably get, you know, tiny render distance, but you don't really want that. I mean, you have to remember, this game is not like Minecraft. It's not just, you know, vertical. Like, the chunks are not just 2D. They're 3D. So you can build infinitely up and infinitely down as much as you want to. But yeah, I also, apart from all that, I fixed the mouse sensitivity. The mouse sensitivity is really weird. It only occurred to me once I started testing the FPS a bit that I, like, wait, hang on, this mouse sensitivity is, it's changing with the FPS, and that's not supposed to happen. So yeah, it was a stupid mistake I made, like, really early on, and I only actually notice it now. But now that's fixed, so it's much more consistent overall. So regardless of whether the game is running fast or slowly, it, it just runs, it performs much better, it's much nicer. It's a bit sensitive right now, actually, but I mean, I'm going to add a setting for that in the settings. In fact, while I'm on the settings, we now have a pause menu. Yes. So you hit escape, game pauses completely, and there's an option missing there. That's why there's no, why there's a gap. So you just go to settings. Right now, we only have two settings with some very basic looking checkboxes. So you have block shading. That's actually a new thing that I added. It's, um, people have been asking for this for a while. And let me just demonstrate why that's important. Because it does slow the rendering down a tiny bit. Now, it's only a little bit, so it's not a big deal. It's only a few frames. But for the sake of that, what you get is... You see the sand in the desert. Before, it was impossible to tell the difference between these blocks, you know? And you'll notice that when I turn this off. So if I go in, turn that off, go back... You, you can't tell the difference. It's just like a blur. So, like, that's it, yeah. I mean, all the blocks at the moment are full bright, so that's just... It's impossible to tell. So all I basically do is that when you turn on block shading... It just kind of darkens the bottom of each side face of each block. And that um, and there's a gradient in between. And that kind of makes it look a little more 3D and a little better. So you can kind of tell what's what if the textures are the same. But um, yeah. And clouds are the same. Laggy as always, you know. But I just like them. They're, they're you know, they're really performance-wise bad. But I like them. I might change them or simplify them as time goes on. And yeah, what else have I done? Oh yeah, I mean, obviously the saving was all a big deal, but 
I did, I added this thing as a debug thing and I never really showed it to you. There's, it's probably not going to be in the final game because it's pointless, but it's kind of cool. Um, so let me just find a good place to show you. And we'll go out here. So, as you may know, if you've been following this development for a while, the textures in this game, like, that's not one texture on the side of that block. That's two different textures, color tinted and laid on top of each other. So yeah. So the dirt and the grass are a separate um. texture. And oh god, my IRC client's going mad. Hang on. <laughs> Ugh. Pigeon, what are you doing? But anyway, as I was saying, the um, the textures are different here. So every texture you see in this game, like a lot, all the grass textures are actually the same texture. It's just in black and white, and I tint it in code for the different biomes and stuff. Um, Minecraft does that sometimes, but only for grass. I do it for like every texture. <laughs> so yeah, it's a bit of a performance hit, but I mean to be honest, I like it because it just lets me do cool stuff. And the funny thing is, because it's all done like that, I can actually change those colors like live when the game is running. Now, not something that would be in the game, but it means I can do this. I can look at, say, this This is a savanna biome, right? But what if we wanted something more evil looking? <laughs> so, say if I find the right keys on my keyboard, because I just bound the keys right now. And let's change the grass texture. So that's the over texture. And first off, I'm going to make it white. <laughs> there you go. So that's the default grass texture, like in black and white. Now, it's not actually very bright white, it's more of a gray, but that's just that's the way I go for the colors of the grass. So, obviously, that looks terrible, but we can play with this. And right now, I'm just adjusting the RGB values, basically. Let's go for something a little more evil. Let's see, red, green, and blue. So, if I take everything up and then take out the green, I start getting purpley colors. So, kind of cool. <laughs> and a bit overly vibrant, but, you know. Why not deep purple grass? And then we're going to want some, maybe, I don't know, blue dirt. So, how are we going to do that now? Um, what I'm actually doing here is I use the U, I, O, J, K, L keys to adjust this, and I use shift to change between the textures. And so if I want to make the dirt, just hang off shift, and let's make it start off white. Ooh, that looks bad. And let's bring it down, say, let's bring down those, make it kind of bluish. Okay. Ooh, that's nice, actually. That was just an accident. <laughs> that looks kind of... It's weird, but kind of in a cool way. I don't know. Um, it needs to be more vibrant, though. And what's the best? Oh, green makes it a bit more... See, red will make it warm, but green also makes it more vibrant. If I pump in more blue, though, I can add more color. Do 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 do. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a tad much now. Okay, the green is insane. What if I warm it up a bit? I think that's kind of nice, actually. It's dark and it looks weird, you know, in the daylight. But if I change the... <coughs> oh, pardon me. Slightly dying. If I change the uh, sky color, that would look good, I think. But yeah. And so it is weird beside the desert. You have this big purpley biome. And of course, that works for the trees as well. I kind of like that in a weird way. <laughs> See, this is the cool thing. If I use normal textures, I couldn't do this. Like, I couldn't make live changes like this. Oh, and of course, I didn't change the dirt block, so the dirt block's still brown. But I could, you know, fix that, sort of. Do to do to do. Matching colors. Randomly. If you knew your RGB values, this would help a lot. <laughs> but, you know, I don't exactly, necessarily. Um, let's add in some more blue. I'm getting close now. What? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, too much red. Um, more green. No. More blue. Less blue. I don't know. Ah, oh, it's difficult. <laughs> Wait, it's just bright. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep that. That's. I'm just gonna stick with that. That looks good. <laughs> so yeah, it changes like that entire block in the entire game. In fact, if I scroll through my inventory here, this is just a creative inventory, so it has all the blocks. But if I find, oh yeah, there it is now. So see, it actually has the um, those textures. Did because again, that's just reading like a you know a value that's stored in the game somewhere. Do 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 do. Now, of course, I'm not saving these values, but it could be if I wanted to. Now, the trees, of course, look weird with that, so let's change the trees. Um, these are acacia blocks, aren't they? Yeah. So let's crack open a tree. And what color will I make the trees? Hmm. Maybe make them like a deep blue. Ooh. <laughs> I gotta stop making that noise. <laughs> That's kind of weird. Ooh, I should kind of like that. And then for the bark... No idea for the bark. Green? Looks kind of weird. Ooh, kind of like an icy cyan kind of color. It's a bit dark, though. 
should brighten up the tree a bit. Ah, I changed the wrong thing. How about that? That looks alright, but the leaves are weird. Now the problem is, I'm pretty sure these these leaves are actually shared with the other biomes. It's gonna look weird. But for the sake of experimentation... Um, what color would you even make leaves? Oh, purple I suppose, yeah. So let's add in lots of those. Wait, that was green. <laughs> do, 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 do. Something a bit brighter, more cheerful. Oh, that's kind of cool, actually. It looks freaky deaky in all kinds of ways, but it's kind of cool. And it just looks weird when you look at the normal world beside it, but you know. <laughs> I don't know. See, you could... It's nice to do this and play around, because if I wanted to make another world, I could actually just effectively terraform Earth into it and then go, okay, what are these colors? Because it spams these colors to console for me to use them again. Um, huh. It's kind of interesting. I don't know. Anyway, I should move on. This video is getting long. Aside from all of that, some of the stuff I'm planning to do... I mean, obviously, I when I talked about this game at first, it was a huge epic space game and that sort of thing. It'll be a long time before it gets there. So what I'm planning to do is actually release the game very, very early. And basically just say, look, this is it now. It's basically a sandbox game. You know, you can just build stuff. It's all creative. And that's the game. Like, I'm not going to claim that it's early access and it's going to improve into, like, something else down the road. I'm just going to say, this is the game. You know, like, you can have it now for free. Do what you want with it. And if people play it, great. If they don't, they don't. And, I mean, that doesn't mean I can't use it down the road for other things. I can still do that. But for now, i just like to release that and at least have it done, you know? I mean, as I said, as a programmer, burnout is a big problem. And you just sometimes want to release something and finish something. <laughs> and um, what I might actually do then is work on something else for a while and then come back to it, you know? Um, I actually have plans for other things, but I'm not going to talk about them here. But, um, but yeah. I mean, heck, there was that FPS engine I made I never even mentioned in my videos. I should really do that. <laughs> but yeah, so the stuff that I want to get done, though, for release is... I at least want to improve the physics, because right now they're pretty much, you know, kind of Mario, kind of floaty physics. They do work. They're just very basic. And it's kind of weird if you start digging down, and you just start kind of floating downwards. Well, I need to change that stone. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so it's kind of odd. I mean, you can no-clip, which is handy, but I don't want you to have to no-clip everywhere. And aside from that, I want to add more settings, because right now the amount of settings is quite limited. Um, you can turn off the clouds, which does give you about, you know, a bit more FPS. If you were kind of stuck for it. But I mean, on my machine, I'm not. So I'm just going to turn them back on. And there we go. And I should probably add, like allow you to change sky colors. That'd be nice. Keep in mind, the game does support multiple planets. So I could very easily just add a new planet with different biomes. And change the atmosphere colors and stuff. And I'd like to do that. But that might be a bit much for release. So I might not do that. Um, oh, and of course, one thing I do want to add. Because it's creative mode, it's kind of a pain in the ass to scroll through your blocks like this. I'd like to add, like, a thing where you press Q and it shows you all the blocks. Just pick one. That'd be nice. Like a little menu. But, um, oh yeah. See, the, the leaves over there are purple because of the change. Lol. But yeah. But anyway, I think it's kind of cool. So yeah. I just wanted to show it off because this is... The whole saving loading thing is actually a big deal. I've been putting it off for a while and actually now that that's done, it's just such a weight off my shoulders. It's so much nicer. I mean, it's kind of like an actual game now. I mean, you could come into the game, build something, and, you know, quit, and it would be there when you came back. Just as an example, let's find some blocks and start plunking them down. For no reason, let's put ice here, because that makes sense. <laughs> Just put a bunch of ice here, and... do to do to do And what'll I... Oh, yeah, keep in mind, I'm not saving these colors, so if I reload this world now, it's going to get rid of all the colors. But, um... Oh, I kind of miss them. They're kind of pretty. <laughs> ah, screw it. For science! Now, load game. That was Bob, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Oh, wait! Oh, no, you know what it is, because I didn't actually quit the game. I haven't restarted the executable, that's why. So, when I next launch the game, they'll be gone. <laughs> actually, with the fog, that this place looks kind of cool. Although the sand is completely out of place. Um, but, yeah, as you can see, we, you know, plonk those blocks down, save the chunks, and we're back. So, it's grand. The saving chunks is actually quite efficient. I only save a hand... Like, I literally only save a chunk if you've changed it since it was loaded. What this means is that, like, since we loaded this game, I probably only saved this one chunk or any of the ones that were generated, you know? So it's cool. Anyway. Now I'm boring you. I realize this. <laughs> I should stop talking. And increase the render distance. But yeah, I just wanted to show this off because it's cool stuff, you know? And as well, let you know that I'm not dead because it's gotten to that time where the comments start to turn to, well, he's just died. So yeah. But, um, but yeah, 
So, still working on it, guys. Hopefully, we'll release something not anytime, like immediately, but soonish. And as I said, it'll just be a simple creative build blocks game, and that'll be it, you know? Um, nothing fancy, and I hope you guys do understand that when you play it. Like, you don't expect it to be Minecraft, because it's not going to be Minecraft. Oh, I fell down a hole. <laughs> that happens more than you would think. Um, but yeah. And I'll try to add some more blocks as well for release. If you have any ideas for blocks, let me know. Just basic ones to build with. And um, I might throw in, like, a, a color block as well. Like, one that has all the colors, just so I can, like, do pixel art and stuff. But yeah, aside from that, that's pretty much it, guys. And that's it for now. And yeah. So I guess without further ado, I will have to say, and good day!